Hey everyone, this week I'm on a beach somewhere, so we're just gonna do a short video. The short video is gonna be on filling out a combo box. If you choose other, we're gonna fill out the other option that you write in. If you don't choose other, we're gonna fill in to the data source, the selected choice. So let's keep the video short, let's get into it. All right, so I had a question from Lockisher. It says, hey, they like the video, works perfectly, but one of my options is other. How can I open a text box underneath it if option is selected? And then not only just open the text box, but then write the option that you write in there to the selection. All right, so I have a blank Power App here. I'm going to insert a form, and this is the out of the box form. Some people argue, oh, you should never do a form, or you should never do, you should always do a custom form and said, this depends on the requirements of your project. If you want to form up really, really fast, just use the out of the box forms. All right, so I'm going to keep this very basic. We have a form here. It's an out of the box form. It's on my screen three, and this is my form three. It is attached to a SharePoint list. Now, it doesn't matter what your data source is. We, we can do this with SQL. We can do this with Dataverse. But we have a SharePoint list here and the form is now attached to it. So I can click on new for a new form. So I have two buttons. I have new form four three and then submit form four three, form three. So when I select something and I type in ABC and then I choose an option, spaghetti, and I hit submit, it then writes that to SharePoint. So we have ABC, spaghetti. Now I'm gonna click on the new button. What I want to do is I want to add an other option. So let's just say these, this is now hard coded in here. And I'm, I'm not giving advice how this should be done. I'm just saying this is how it is meatballs, spaghetti, and what was the other one? And a soda. And then our last option is other. Now this can, can be configured in SharePoint, it can be configured in Dataverse, however you want to do it. But right now we're going to hard code it in there. So now when we select our drop down, we have an other option. So inside our card on our submit form, so every column in our form has a card, uh, you just enlarge the card and let's put in text input. We're going to add a text input underneath our choice. Now you can put this wherever you'd like, but notice it's inside the card, right? So you have your card here, favorite food data card. The text box is inside there. When we choose other, we want the text box to appear. So we're going to go to the visibility of our text box. Right now it's true. And we'll say if, um, or let's see, our data card, actually, our data card value seven and I'm looking at the tree view. So I'm looking at the tree view on the left side. This is how, what's helping me. If the data card value seven dot selected dot value equals other, then it's true, else it's false. So now we have a text box. It's only visible if someone selects other, okay? In the card, we don't wanna write other. We're gonna write whatever we write in the text box. So on the update property of the card, I'm gonna say if data card value seven dot selected dot value equals other, then we're gonna write the text input canvas one. Text input canvas one dot value else we're going to write what's selected. Okay, so it's expecting a record value. So what do we do now? So the combo box wants a record of the value. It doesn't just want, you know, a single line text. So we got to give it a record. So uh, squiggly bracket value, right? because that's what we have in here, the dot value. The value of it is actually the record. So we say if 
the selected dot value is other. So if it's other here, then we're going to send it a value of whatever we type in here, else whatever we select. So let's try it out. So we have meatballs. Um, AH likes meatballs. Okay, new. Now we say um, ABC likes other likes spicy meatballs. Submit. Now let's check out SharePoint. So we check out SharePoint and now when we refresh, boom, AH likes meatballs, ABC likes a spicy meatball. Ah, so that's how you would do it if you're in an out of the box form. But let's say you're not in an out of the box form, right? Let's say, and this is what I was trying to tell the user before is there's different ways to do this if you're using the out of the box form or if you're doing it all custom, right? So we can insert a combo box. So same thing, except for now we don't have to do a new screen, but we do have to change the way we submit. So I'm just going to copy this button over. And because we're not in the default form, we have to patch this time. We can't do submit form, right? We're not in a form. We have our text input separate from a form. So our submit button will become a patch statement. So patch, what are we gonna patch? We're gonna patch my SharePoint list, which is called favorite food list. My favorite food list. What are we gonna patch? We're gonna patch the title and the favorite food. So title is our, and we're looking at the left side here. We're looking at the, the tree view. So right here is text input canvas two. Text input canvas two. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Dot value, and then our favorite food. So now our favorite food is so combo box canvas two. Dot selected. dot value. So it looks like we're getting the same, you know, issue again. So let's make sure this is a record. So if the value is there, so now we've gotten rid of our error. So if you choose other, you write in here, but on the patch statement, and I just went to go ahead and fill this in for us. So we'll form out the text. So let's take a look in here. So we're going to patch our favorite food list in SharePoint. We're going to patch the title no matter what. And look at the color coding, right? This is the purple pink. We're going to patch the title no matter what. And then favorite food, if the combo box canvas to the green one, if it is equal to other, then we are going to patch the blue text input. If it's equal to other, we're going to patch the blue one. But if it's not equal to other, then we're going to patch the green one. All right, so let's go ahead and try it out. So I already have a selection in there. Test patch with other. Other nachos is our favorite food. We'll hit submit. We'll go to SharePoint, refresh. And now we have test patch with other is nachos. Now you may want to do some data validation, right? So on our submit button, if you select other, the display or the button uh, right here, let's do the display mode. The display mode of the button is display mode dot edit. But what we're going to add is if data card value uh, selected dot value equals other, if this is equal to other and and the text input, which I am guessing is text input canvas one, if you select that and is blank text input canvas one dot value is blank then it's display mode dot disabled else it's it's uh, edit so now we have some validation in here we have a requirement to fill in this field so if we click meatballs it's fine spaghetti it's fine soda it's fine but other the submit button is disabled so thank you all for watching thank you for the question hopefully we can knock out a bunch more quick videos like this my name is andrew hess I'm on to the way to the beach. I'll see you next time.